Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. Today we're doing something I didn't think I'd ever have to do again until the forging update. We're forging acacia wood, and a lot of it. We need 9 acacia birdhouses for the best strength reforge in the game that will directly boost my farming fortune I get with my mushroom cow pet. I want to level this thing up so I can also start getting mushroom milestones while farming other crops. I think it's just time efficient and overall should be worth it. So that's the plan for today. I don't know how long this is going to take. I don't know if I'm going to go insane. I don't like forging, but it should be interesting. So if you're new here and you want and you like seeing me suffer, don't forget to go and leave a like and subscribe channel if you are new around here. And without further ado, let's jump right into this one. Super quickly though, if you do find yourself checking out on the Hypixel store to buy some booster cookies during this insane inflation period that's going on, you want to make some coins, don't forget to use code Zach when checking out. That is Z-A-C-H. You can save yourself 5% on checkout. You can literally buy coins through booster cookies. It's the best time ever to do it if that's something you're interested in. Or if you just want to buy a rank or anything else, code Zach. Save yourself 5%. It's a great way to support myself and the channel, and I do greatly appreciate it. But let's get into the forging. Today's video is not one I'm excited about, but it's something I actually genuinely have to do for a better farming setup. Somehow forging is gonna give me a better farming setup which is always fun however what we're doing today is grinding for a little item known as the acacia birdhouse not only do we need one of them we need nine of them so uh that's fun and gonna take forever uh for anyone who isn't aware of the item um honestly it's one of these things i've known about but never really paid attention to until here i am grinding for them the acacia birdhouse now this thing's great because it gives the most amount of base strength out of any single, um, I guess you could say power, power stone, if you want to call it that. And basically it gives you the forceful power when you combine nine of these together at the Thaumaturgist. And yeah, these things are six stacks of enchanted acacia wood, which I do have the wiki open, comes out to 384 enchanted acacia wood or 61,440 regular acacia wood per. We need nine of these things. So, uh, the amount of enchant we need in total is 384 times 9, being 3,456. Now, that is no small amount, especially when it comes to acacia. These trees are weirdly shaped. Luckily, it's not a derpy or like some weird situation where everyone is trying to get their forging past forging 25. So I do actually have most of this area to myself. Not to, it's a five-person lobby. My goodness, see that's actually insane. So yeah, five-person lobby. Uh, I shouldn't be contested too much. That's not my issue. The issue is, uh, kids. I mean, it's just I have to forge. I really didn't think I'd be doing this again after forging 50. I don't think the acacia birdhouses were in the game when I got forging 50. So thank you, Skyblock. But not to mention, I didn't really take advantage game forging 50 either. I don't even have max forging minions and. It's something I'm circling back to in the very near future. Maybe even today, depending on how long the birdhouses take. I do need to get tier 11 forging minions. It's kind of a shame that I'm forging 50 on Iron Man and don't have them. So uh, it, it is also on my list. However, this, this is going to take forever. Uh, forging minions will not. This will take way longer. So yeah, not sure how long this is going to take. I'm kind of just going to keep going and hope for the best. It'll take a while. I'll cut back when we have enough to craft our first birdhouse. Let me introduce you to my first problem with forging. I don't know why kids are obsessed with this, but if you see someone in your lobby, and, oh, is he using a blue whale pet? Like, what is going on here? Level 98 regular profile with a blue whale pet chopping down acacia wood? Like, what are you doing? You know, what What are you doing? Um... And so, yeah, that's my first main grief, I guess you could say, I have with forging. Just why? I'm so excited for the forging update. If any of you guys have not... Uh, see, he stole the bomb of that tree from me. If any of you guys haven't actually seen the um, forum post that Jay of Arman posted, basically talking about the future of Skyblock in terms of 1.0 and game versions and how they, they're doing a forging island... In the newest game version which is so exciting it would be so amazing for this game if they updated it to 1.19 and beyond i think the amount of blocks and game mechanics particles sounds everything that comes with it is just seriously endless amounts of updates um that have me super excited i mean the abyss island that they've talked about before i remember hearing about that actually years ago and so rehearing about that now and that they actually had plans for it but they want to do it with like the 1.13 aquatic uh basically game mechanics and how all that stuff works i mean that's just so exciting to me so 
really excited about that because forging needs a massive overhaul i'm going to be honest the skill is just not too fun to do and it sounds like that's what they're going to deliver and here's buddy running around in stereo pants with a fish hat um yeah forging sucks well yesterday and today i've been forging a decent amount um this is taking forever i said i'd come back after i had enough for one birdhouse I, uh, I, I didn't. I'm gonna be honest, when I started this grind, I had about 200 Enchanted Acacia in my sack, so I was like, okay, getting the 180 Enchanted Acacia really isn't worthy of me making the clip, so I was like, I'll go for two. And I ended up just, like, watching some videos, I watched a hockey game while I was forging, and here we are. Um, I'm not done. This is taking way longer than I thought it would. I haven't been efficient by any means either, because getting myself to forge is, uh, is tough. But, we're currently sitting at 2,129 Enchanted Acacia. Which uh, is more than an inventory pull. So I figured we may as well go ahead and craft a couple of birdhouses to see where we're actually at. So let's go ahead and craft one. There we go. These things are worth nearly 2 million coins worth of acacia wood, which is kind of crazy. Here's a second. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, put, put the recipe in ourselves one. Why don't we? It should be just like this. That's number three. Beautiful. Number four. Okay. I think I have enough for a fifth. And then I must be close to a sixth. So there's the fifth. And yeah, we're about halfway to the sixth one, so we are getting there. I forgot oops, the sack right here. We are getting there slowly but surely. Five of the nine, four more to go. I think it's 384 Enchanted Acacia or close to it, so times four. We need about 1,500 to go. Yeah, this is going to take a while. It is. It's just one of those things that just has to get done. I'm going to get 15 Skyblock XP for doing this too, which is... That's my motivation right there. It really is. And then after this grind, I need to do some Mare Finnegan, but then I also basically need to go back to forging on my free time and finish off my forging minion. It is a absolute shame some of the level I have on these forging minions. Let me show you guys really quickly how much... Like, this is just a disappointment. I'm, I'm disappointed in myself, okay? So, Oakwood minion level 7, okay? A level 8 costs as much as, like, a medium storage. There's no world where I shouldn't have that done. Uh, these upgrades don't even get that bad to begin with. I mean, eight stacks of enchant for the last one. It's really not the end of the world. Bruce on level six. Bruce on level six. Ah, uh, that is that's heartbreaking because I'm pretty sure, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the wolf pet. How much Bruce wood is the wolf pet? Mystery wolf pet. Eight stacks. And I'm pretty sure I crafted a few of these. So the fact that my spruce minion stuck on level six is shameful. Actually shameful. So excited to do some of those upgrades. I have a lot of XP hidden behind forging minions and. I might even get, I don't know how close I am to my next minion slot, but it's definitely going to help us get towards it. So excited for that, and overall, we're just moving in the right direction. Gotta get this fortune content finally over with. A little bit of a random, uh, I guess, distraction here is they actually just released a small bug fixing update to Skyblock. Uh, the full title of it, as I look at the uh, patch notes, is Sack Additions and Bug Fixes. Stack additions are one of the best thing that they've been focusing on recently, and I hope to see even more items added in the near future, but stacks are such a great way for so many people to store various items that either clog up your inventory, or like if you're on a co-op, you like keeping the things you've grinded for separate, which is my main case, and it's just so handy with all these new items they keep on adding. They've made massive changes to, the, uh, to sacks recently, and then now, for example, the Enchanted Mining Sack has every single Enchanted Block type now, which is amazing. I can finally store Enchanted Coal Blocks, Iron en Enchanted Iron Blocks, anything that was previously found in like my backpacks or Ender Chest that I just didn't really have a spot to put. Everything is now finally being able to be put in here. Enchanted Red Sand and Mycelium Cubes, Enchanted Sulfur Cubes. This is all amazing stuff, seriously. Uh, if, and then in the Combat Sack now, we also have Enchanted Bone Blocks, Enchanted Slime Blocks, Whip Magma Cream, Absolute Ender Pearls, Enchant Eyes of Ender. This is just seriously amazing. Enchant Blaze Rods. This is seriously great. Uh, I love seeing additions like this and changes to the game. I think Enchant Wet, Wet Sponge is new here now too, um, which is pretty nice. Um, some other things I'd love to see in the future though is like Great White Shark Teeth. You know, they kind of set the precedent now that they can do non-stackable items. For example, they did so by putting the, uh, where is it? Did they remove it? Yikes. Where's the compost bundle? Okay, I think they took it out. Um, that's awkward. It was in here earlier. There was the compost bundles. Good thing I took mine out. Otherwise, I don't know what would have happened to them. But yeah, you it previously they were letting you put compost bundles in here, which aren't stackable. Uh, so if they can figure out how to do non-stackable items, then I would love to see like diamantes handles put in here, great white shark teeth into the fishing sack, 
compost bundles back in here. There's a bunch of other options and other items. Fermento, for example, that would be really nice. So uh, yeah, I'd love to see non-stackable items in the future, but love seeing these like little upgrades to uh, previously existing sacks. I mean, look at all the enchanted stuff in the enchanted grammy sacks, box of seeds, enchanted baked potatoes, enchanted golden carrots, enchanted cookies, cactus, everything, including the double compacted tightly tied hay bales, pollock pumpkins, mutant netherwort. It's great. I love it. Uh, yeah, sorry for talking so much about it, but I felt like I should bring it up for anyone who wasn't aware of the patch notes uh, the day I'm recording this. I highly recommend checking them out. A bunch of bug fixes and stuff too that I won't get into, but I love sack additions. Sacks are like one of the best parts of the game. Such an amazing quality of life thing. So yeah, more sacks and more sack items, please. After a little bit more forging, I think it is finally time to do a little bit of crafting. Uh, let's go ahead and take out six stacks of enchanted acacia wood. Beautiful. I want to enjoy this one. You know, this one felt like it feels like they're starting to take longer. I don't know. Maybe it's just the placebo effect, but it is what it is. Man, why are these things going down in price so much? That's kind of crazy, too. It's our buy price. I know Ringo was this morning. So maybe that made the price jump up earlier, but it is what it is. We now have six acacia birdhouses. Three more to go. We're getting there. We really are. Uh, man, what a process. These things are tedious. I want to know which admin is responsible. And uh, that's about it. Honestly, I do like the power stones, though. I do hope we see. I still have a ton to go for. Obsidian tablets are on my list as well. Is something I want to cross off uh, my list. It doesn't seem like too hard of a grind. So it's one of those things I kind of just want to get done. I do want to start paying attention to those. And I don't know. I do really enjoy the Skyblock XP Skyblock right now. I feel like it's really healthy for content, actually, because... Basically, I end up grinding every part of the game, which is something I would have had to do anyways, and I would have done, but now I get like a little reward for it, and I get to see my number go up, which is always satisfying. And in fact, I'm 150th out of all Iron Man players right now. That's pretty cool, if I don't say so myself. So yeah, I'm going to keep on uh, forging. This is going to take a while, and um, three more to go. After a little while longer, quite a few lobby swaps from kids apparently also needing a good... Guys, you guys have access to the bazaar. Please do me a favor. I'm, I think, yeah, there's only one other Iron Man here, okay? He's the only one who has rights to any acacia wood, if needed, you know, the, that Iron Man grind. You're a regular profile, though. I mean, I guess, unless you're going for forging XP, but you're doing Dark Oak. So, like, why is anyone even here cutting down acacia wood? You know what I mean? Like, it's not a good money-making method. Trust me, it's just not. But, however, we should have enough to finally craft another uh, acacia birdhouse. So, let's go ahead and do that. Beautiful. That is number, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two more to go. We are really getting there. About ten and a half more stacks of enchanted acacia wood. This is uh, tedious beyond belief, but it needs to be done. It really does. Um, it's one of those things towards completion, and it'll actually give me more farming fortune, which is the funny part about it. So, yeah, good keep at it. Hopefully I don't get griefed too many more times. Forging's in the rough state, man. Uh, just get me through this, please. That's all I ask. I think you guys know what we're crafting in this clip. Time to grab out another six stacks. Oh, that's the right stack. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're getting there. We really are. Uh, the reason why we're even closer than it may seem, there's eight. I need 384 enchanted more for this. Uh, minus 128. I have two stacks worth of regular acacia. My forging sack right here. So yeah, 384, I believe it is. 384 minus 128, uh, which means I need 250. Why? Why? Um, what? What did I just put into my inventory? Sapling? How did? How did I even do that? Where did they even come from? I, I don't know. Either way. Um, hopefully that wasn't weird. Okay, nice. Yeah. So I need 256 is the number I need in hand sack and press the rest and then we're done with the acacia until i finally decide to go ahead and max this minion but after this birdhouse experience i might be putting that on hold if you know what i mean i believe i am temporarily freed from acacia wood let's go ahead and compact up the rest of my acacia wood i have in here i think i went over by a little bit though which is fine so that's honestly can't complain about that but there we go that should be all of our acacia wood uh, why it bugs like that and as the things it says, please just put it back in there. Beautiful. And a case, what I did go over. Okay, I need 384. We have a little bit extra. Let's go ahead and put the uh, six stacks in. So, beautiful. Boom. Our ninth and final Acacia Birdhouse. 
And I'm happy I'm done with that. That is not fun in the slightest. Uh, let's go ahead and hand this in. We're going to get 15 Skyblock XP for this as well. More forging to do here as well. I need a tier 11 oak. Station minion. Arch. Spruce. I, I, I got some forging left to do. But happy to be done this. Because honestly, this is like the worst thing uh, forging-wise that I had left. So let's go ahead and slap in all these Acacia Birdhouses. Beautiful. Learn new power. Oh my goodness, we did it. Plus 15 Skyblock XP. That's probably the best part. And just like that, this is now the best reforge for strength. So uh, just to compare... What was my, what's second best for strength? I kind of want to do like a little bit of a forging, uh, fortune comparison. What was my best previously? Was it really itchy? Oh no, I think it was bloody. Yeah, it looks like bloody was my best. So let's go ahead and clear this, that tune, everything on the strength. Let me get out my farming setup and uh, let's compare our farming fortune before and after. So also check out the new uh, Fermento armor in the texture pack. This stuff goes crazy. Honestly, I feel like it's a little too much, but maybe we'll get used to it. Maybe they'll change it. I don't know. It just it, it goes a little hard. But uh, let's go ahead and see what our farming fortune is. Currently sitting at 1,051 farming fortune with our elephant pet out. We go ahead and swap over the mushroom cow. Keep in mind, this thing isn't level 100. I only have it on level 80, unfortunately. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, there we go. And now we have 961 farming fortune. Right now, it is still worse for me with this. But let's go to the hub. For those of you who don't know, the Mushroom Cow gives you more farming fortune based on your... We swap over the Forceful, go back to the Garden, or Garden, and let's go ahead and see. How, how much are we sitting at? 971. Wow. Okay. So, I just farmed all that Acacia for 10 farming fortune. I'm excited to see what this thing will be at level 100, if it's competitive or even better. I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, basically game one farming fortune per every 24 strength. I'm assuming that gets better the higher level I am. Um, yeah, I, when breaking mature crops, there's an 80.2% chance that mushroom will drop. That's always nice as well. That's the main reason to use this. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I needed forceful because I knew it was the best reforge for using mushroom cow. Um, it's still not better for me yet. It's not far off. It's like 80 fortune difference between this and elephant for me right now. I'm curious to see what it'll be when this thing's level 100, but yeah, man, all that forging, we gain 10 farming fortune and uh, technically lose 80. That's, that's great. So unfortunately, that is going to do it for today's episode of the Iron Man Profile. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little bit of forging content. Who saw that coming? Not me. Didn't think I'd be doing this ever again. I'm forging 50 and I was hoping I wouldn't have to touch this. However, in the process, I did actually move up a couple hundred places on the uh, forging XP leaderboard. I mean, why wouldn't you just stop at forging 50? For some reason, I still have things I have to forge after forging 50 because I'm not smart. But uh, yeah, now we're in the top 1,000 for forging XP. That's kind of cool, I guess. But yeah, there we go. Finally, we can start using our mushroom cow with a little bit more efficiency. And uh, I should probably get to farming because, man, I waste way too much time grinding that. I will not see a return on that this Finnegan. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go and leave a like and subscribe channel if you guys are new around here. Don't forget to use code Zach when checking out on the Hypixel store. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.